hello friends in this video i'm going to show you a uh, roundabout design so we're going to see uh, various parameter for the roundabout design and uh, later on we going to design roundabout in civil 3d like we are going to design alignments profile and what other things to keep in mind to design roundabout as you know the roundabout is very complex and there are so many parameters involved in designing and we are going to see each parameter in detail so you can learn the roundabout design first of thing where to use and when to use the roundabout well you cannot put roundabout at everywhere there is some traffic consideration that you need to follow I mean if your traffic is around 3000 to 5000 then you opt for the roundabout design uh, every country has their own standard for the traffic so you need to check with your traffic engineer or a traffic manual to check what are the minimum uh, requirement for the traffic uh, to opt for the roundabout design another uh, point to decide whether to go for the roundabout or not if you have a uh, five or more approaches so when you have more approaches it is very difficult to handle uh, the intersection with just priority junction or signalized control you have to offer the roundabout so these are the basic warrant when you offer the roundabout second things why you use the roundabout i mean what are the benefit of using the roundabout well roundabout first of all it channelize your traffic and so that's why it increase the safety safety for the like uh, it reduce the vehicle speed at the junction and it gives a free flow means traffic without uh, stopping can move so it also uh, increase the efficiency so there is benefits of the roundabout third we need to learn what are the types of roundabout well there are basically three type of roundabout one is the normal that uh, normal roundabout is mostly we use second is the mini or compact roundabout which are we use on the local street or in urban location gated community where the four inter uh, roads intersect to each other so there where you we use because of the constraint of the space we go for the mini or compact roundabout and third is the signalized uh, signal control roundabout like i said if you have five or more uh, five or more uh, roads are connecting to each other which is going to be difficult handled by the uh, normal signal intersection you have to design the roundabout and you have to provide signal to control that many arm so third option is the signal control at roundabout so now we're going to see the each of parameter of the roundabout in very details so let's start from the first parameter which is uh, very important so for that uh, here i have an option as well uh, i mean the pictures how the normal roundabout looks this is the normal roundabout and like I said, compact roundabout, which is used in uh, local roads or gated communities. And the third is signal control at roundabout. So you get the idea uh, what are the different types of roundabout. Now, let's take an example to design the roundabout. So we're going to see each parameters and how you can design the 2D layout first and then we move to the uh, 3d design so we're going to run the series of the uh, short videos where you can actually learn about the round of uh, roundabout so here i have one roads as you can see there are the four arms uh, this is the main road this is the side roads and we have to design the roundabout uh, over there suppose that we assume that the traffic is 3500 can be handled by the roundabout so first thing you need to see in that what are the uh, these are the roads which called the approach roads so you can see the uh, uh, different approach and it can be different uh, configuration like the two lane or one lane or three lane this is also benefit of the roundabout that you connect 
two lane or three lane road to the one lane road so whenever you have to change you can also opt for the roundabout so we have a two lane road over here and also here these are the foam arm and first thing you need to fix for the roundabout design is your circulate or uh, incremental circular diameter icd which is your main uh, circle or alignment we call uh, so there are some parameter to decide for it like the location you have to decide as uh, the best fit it into it like it cover all the farm arms and give you enough space uh, you have to decide as per your constraint and the parameter is that you have to for the normal roundabout the minimum diameter is 28 meter uh, here i'm talking about the diameter and not radius so you have to uh, be careful about that that minimum diameter you off is 28 meter and the maximum you can go for the 100 again for the mini and compact you again go for the 28 but the maximum would be 36 only and for signalized control same will be applied 28 and the 100 diameter so this is the outer radius i mean outer diameter of the roundabout and whatever the lane we're going to uh, decide for that will go to inside so this is first things next thing you need to decide the island width the minimum island radius is the four meter and uh, maximum you can decide based on your lane requirement so this is two important parameter of the roundabout to start with the designing of roundabout so first you decide where your roundabout actually sit means where your icd incremental circle di uh, diameter actually sit mostly it depend on the, your side constraint like here if i can see there are some side constraints over here here uh, so i can put somewhere and can, then i can decide what are the diameter will be actual fit uh, here you can see i've gone for 54 i can go 56 and you can see how much it will fit if you give more radius it will give you more uh, option for the uh, various inside radius so uh, you need to decide it based on your site availability and uh, i'll select here 54 so this is the first parameter to go for uh, you have to decide your icd which is the main reason the next thing we going for the uh, decide how many lanes will be going to inside and what are the lane width and how we can decide those lane width in our next uh, video so thank you thanks for uh, watching this video and please stay connected to learn everything about the roundabout in the series of our roundabout videos thank you